Ang lesson naman natin ngayon ay equivalence of two statements. Kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, do not forget to subscribe. The objectives of this session are illustrate the equivalences of the statement and its contrapositive, illustrate the equivalences of the converse and inverse of a statement. Recap, statements are sentences that are either true or false but not both. Simple statements convey only one idea. Compound statements have two or more ideas. They can be formed in two ways, first by negation and secondly by using connectives. Conditional statements have three types, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. In symbols, converse is Q, then P, or switch yung hypothesis and the conclusion. Kay inverse naman, negative P, then negative Q, negated ang ating original na PQ or yung if-then form. Contrapositive naman, negative Q, then negative P. So, negated naman si converse. Okay, so let's have a recap in transforming the statement into its converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So, our original statement is, if a horse has a horn, then it is a unicorn. If we will uh, convert this into its converse, we will say, if a horse is a unicorn, then it has a horn. Babalik na rin lang natin si conclusion at si hypothesis. Para naman sa inverse, same pa rin yung color, blue and red, pero mag, uh, negated na po sila pareho. So that will be, if a horse does not have a horn, then it is not a unicorn. For the contrapositive naman, si converse ang titingnan na lang natin. So, that will be negated yung pula at negated din yung blue. So, if a horse is not a unicorn, then it does not have a horn. So, yun naman yung contrapositive natin. Okay, so ito na yung equivalence of two statements. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, you are given two statements and then you will identify kung sino yung katulad niya. So, doon tayo sa original na if-then form. If a horse has a horn, then it is a unicorn. So, ang table natin kanina ay ito, for converse, inverse, and contrapositive. My first question is, what is the inverse of the converse statement? Ang ibig sabihin po ng tanong ay, ano daw ang inverse ng converse statement? So, ang, origi ang magiging original statement na natin ay si converse. Okay? Tapos, kung siya na yung original statement natin, etong pula, siya si P, Tapos, itong blue, siya naman si Q. Kasi siya na yung original. Pag sinabi ko original, PQ na siya. Okay. Tapos, ang sabi daw, ano daw ang inverse ng statement na to? Pag kinuha natin ng inverse, that will be negative P then negative Q. So, mangyayari, inenegate natin tong pula, inenegate din natin tong blue. So, that will be if a horse is not a unicorn, then it does not have a horn. Kung makikita natin, sino ba siya doon sa tatlong statements? C, contra positive. So, meaning to say, ang inverse ng converse statement ay si contra positive. So, yun yun. We have two statements. Ang equivalent niya si contra positive. Let's have another example. So, siya pa rin. Ang question natin naman ay, what is the converse of the contrapositive statement? So, ang ating original na ay si contrapositive. Kung siya yung original, etong pula ay yung P, etong blue ay yung Q. Tapos, ang sabi, hahanapan daw natin ng converse niya. In getting the converse of a statement, ang gagawin mo, Q then P. Diba? So, maunang sasabihin si Q tapos si P. So, that will be, if a horse does not have a horn, then it is not a unicorn. Siya po, ay, kung titignan natin, ay C, si inverse. So, meaning to say, ang converse ng contrapositive statement ay C, si inverse. Last, What is the contrapositive of the inverse statement? 
So, ang original naman natin ngayon ay si inverse. So, kung siya yung original, yung blue ay si P, si Q, ay si, yung red po ay si Q. So, ang sabi, hahanapan daw ng contrapositive statement. So, pag sinabi natin contrapositive statement, is si switch, then negated pareho. So, mauna si negative Q, then negative P. So, if that's the case, um, mauna natin sabihin tong red, pero negated na siya. So, if a horse is not a unicorn, then it does not have, or it has a horn. Sorry, sorry, again. If a horse is a unicorn, kasi negated na. So, kabalik tara ng is not. So, if a horse is a unicorn, then it has a horn. So, if that's the case, ang ating statement ay katulad ni converse. What, ang contrapositive ng inverse ay si converse. So, remember, ang inverse ng converse ay si contrapositive. So, kung ano yung ibibigay sa inyo na dalawang types, kung ano yung nawawala doon, yun yung katulad niya. Okay? Yun yung output. So, ang given ngayon dito, converse at contrapositive. Ang wala sa dalawa ay si inverse. Contra and inverse, ang wala sa kanila si converse. Okay? So, yun yung kalalabasan. So, let's try naman in symbols. Pag sinabi natin in symbols naman, yung word na off, may makikita kayo dyan, Yung sumunod na symbol, yun yung original. Okay? Original statement natin. Okay? So, here, for example, inverse of QP. Paano ba kinukuha ang inverse, di ba? Kinukuha yung negated nung original. So, kung ito yung original, lalagyan mo lang ng negative dun sa umpisa. So, ang sagot dito ay negative Q, then negative P. Next, ito yung original natin, negative Q, then P. Converse daw niya. Pag kinukuha ang converse, we just switch. Okay? Mauna si P, tapos susunod si Q. Negative Q. Pag contrapositive naman, is si switch, then palit ng sign. So, ito mapupunta rito, pero positive Q. Ito mapupunta rito, magiging negative P. So, yun naman yung in symbols. So, let's practice. Ano ang contrapositive ng PQ? P, negative Q. So, pag contrapositive, switch, then palit ng sign. So, ito mapupunta rito, positive Q na siya. May P, nilipat dito, magiging negative P na siya. Inverse naman ito. E kung ito ang original natin, ang inverse niya ay lalagyan mo lang ng negative sa umpisa. So, negative Q, negative P. Ang converse naman, nagsiswitch. So, malilipat lang, pero wala magpapalit. Hindi sila magpapalit ng symbols. So, negative P ang mauuna, negative Q ang susunod. Converse, ganun pa rin, palit lang ng position. So, P muna bago si Q. Contrapositive, palit, lipat ng position, then palit ng sign. So, mauna si negative Q, pero positive na siya. Q, tapos si negative P, magiging P. So, yun lang yung ating discussion for this time. Kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and God bless.